Okay, today we're going to be looking at, um, we're going to be starting a new um, section on differentiation and starting with the product rule. But before we dip into the product rule, we're going to remember the chain rule. So we'll be using the chain rule a lot and um, adding on to it the um, product rule. So the chain rule was used, uh, say we had some some function say y equals 3x minus 5 to the power 4. We can, to differentiate that we would make this y equals u to the power 4 where u is 3x minus 5 and now we're going to differentiate dy by du equals 4u to the power 3 and du by dx is going to be just 3 and that gives us dy by dx is dy by du times du by dx which is 4. Now instead of writing u we're going to put back in our um, function that we called u 3x minus 5 to the power 3 times du by dx which was 3 so that's 12, 3x minus 5 to the power 3. So that's just a very brief overview of the chain rule. So um, if you can't remember it or a bit um, kind of rusty on it, I'll go back and do a few examples on the chain rule just to rejig your memory because you'll need it for these exercises. So the product rule. allows us to differentiate functions of the that like this for example x plus 1 raised to the power 4 3x minus 3 minus not 3 minus 2 to the power 3 and we can consider this as the product of two separate functions i.e. the general um, form would be y equals some function u, some function v, and um, where u would be x plus 1 to the power 4, and v would be 3x minus 2 raised to the power 3. So to differentiate the product of two functions, we need the product rule. And the product rule states um, d by dx of some function which is the product of two functions u and v is equal to u times the derivative of dv by dx plus v du by dx. So we can say this as the derivative is the first function multiplied by the derivative of the second function plus the second function multiplied by the derivative of the first function. So in this example that we just, just did, um, that we introduced here, so we would have dy by dx is equal to, so the first function which is x plus 1 to the power 4 times the derivative of the second function which was 3x minus 2 cubed plus the second function which is 3x minus 2 to the power 3 times the derivative of the first v by dx um, x plus 1 to the power 4. Now you can see immediately here why we needed to review the um, the chain rule because for this the two derivatives we're going to need the chain rule um, <coughs> so this would give us we're going to run out of space here x plus 1 to the power 4 times 
we'll bring the three down and then this the derivative of the middle of the, the, the thing in the brackets is going to be three, so it's going to be nine three x minus two to the power of two plus three x minus two cubed and that's going to be times four I just the derivative of the of x plus one is just one x plus one to the power three and um we can tidy that up and we would get x plus one to the power three x oh, three x minus two squared and then we'll take nine x plus one plus four three x minus two we're just rearranging it and tidying it a bit more now we can sort this in the bracket we can expand the brackets and that will give us i'm going to write the answer up here because um i've got them down there so the answer for that would be dy by dx would equal x plus 1 cubed 3x minus 2 squared and then 21x plus 1. Um, let's look at some examples. So we find, we want to find dy by dx when y is equal to x, 2x minus 1 and the square root of 4x plus 5. So we can rewrite this as our 2x minus 1 and then that 4x plus 5 is raised to the power of a half, not a quarter, a half, there we go. So now dy by dx is going to be the first function and the derivative of 4x plus 5 to the power half plus 4x plus 5 to the power half times d by dx 2x minus 1. <coughs> so this is going to be the 2x minus 1. And then we're going to do the chain rule here. So that's going to be um, half minus 1 is going to be, well, it's going to be half here. Bring the half down. So we've got, uh, we'll do this part first, 4x plus 5. A half minus 1 is going to be minus a half. And then from the derivative of the bit in the middle, we'll have the 4 plus and this 4x plus 5 per half and then this is just going to be 2. So now we're going to tidy all this up. So 4 divided by 2 is 2 so we're going to have 2, 2x minus 1. Now that is a half so that will become, this will come down here. 4x plus 5 plus 2, 4x plus 5. Now this looks a bit messy, so what we're going to do is tidy up so we'll get one fraction. So we'll have 2, 2x minus 1 plus 2, 4x plus 5 uh, all over... 4x plus 5. Tidy that up a wee bit more. So we'll end up with 4x here minus 2 and 8x here plus 10. Um, and then if you, um, you'd be better writing all that down just so you don't get mudded up. Um, but I'll skip the writing down that stage because I'm running out of space on this, this screen. So that's 12x plus 8 over. 4x plus 5. Let's do another one. So we want to find the x coordinate uh, 
of the points on the curve y equals 2x minus 3 squared x plus 5 cubed where the gradient is 0. So anywhere where the gradient is going to be 0 you're thinking I need to differentiate it because when the gradient is 0 divide by the x equals 0. So Let's just write our function down and we're going to use our product rule. So we have our first function multiplied by derivative of the second function plus the second function multiplied by the derivative of the first. And we're going to apply our chain rule again. So we have a three, three coming down here, then x plus five squared, and the derivative of the middle bit is just one, so that's fine. Plus and then a chain rule again, which is just going to be two. I've done something wrong there. So it'll be the 2, 2x two minus 3, that 2 becomes a 1, and then the derivative of the internal bit is just 2. Let's tidy all this up. So we'll get 3, 2x minus 3 squared, x plus 5 squared, plus. So this is going to be 2 times 2 is 4, um, 2x minus 3, x plus 5 cubed. Now we're going to factorise this. So we've got a 2x minus 3 here and there's 1 here. So we just take 1, 2x minus 3 out and we've got a 5 plus x plus 5 squared here, cubed here, so we'll take the squared out and we can't do anything with the 3 and the 4. So that's going to give us 3, 2x minus 3 and we've got both of those out plus 4, um, x plus 5. Now we're going to simplify this down. So that'll be um, 6x minus 9 plus 4x plus 20, which gives us 2x minus 3, x plus 5 squared, and 10x plus 11. So um, I'm going to have to take out a new page. So I'll write that down again. So we had dy by dx equaled 2x minus 3, x plus 5, and 10x plus 11. And what we wanted was the x coordinate or the points when the original curve had a gradient of 0. So when dy by dx equals 0, well, these any of these three would have to be 0. So we can have 2x minus 3 equals 0. We can have x plus 5 equals 0. And we have 10x plus 11 equals 0. So this would be when x is equal to rearranging it 3 over 2, x equals minus 5, and x equals minus 1.1. So these three points, the gradient will be 0. So I hope that